Hi guys, I'm Polly from Vim, and this is the Voopoo Drug X. It's time to review it. Let's go! Before we start, I want to say a massive thank you to Easy Click for sending me this bad boy for the purpose of the review. If you've never checked Easy Click before, check them out at easyclick.co.uk. If you have, still go down in the description, you'll see the link, my written review on the Drag X. Podbot. It's even more detail and it's also got more specific pictures, so check it out. Till then, we'll have a very quick look at the pod mod, then we'll do specs and features, then we'll do a comparison with my opinions, and then we'll do a giveaway. Let's do this. So, it's very, very similar. It's 95mm tall. 32.5 wide and 28 mil that way. Whichever way is wide and long, I don't know. It's got that adjustable airflow that I loved so much on the last one. So easy to move, but not too easy to move that it moves in your pocket. Happy days. It's also got that brilliant pod mod connection for magnets, rim, and then obviously you've got your connectors in the middle. The on the S review, I can't remember it where, but there were a comment in regards to it's got bottom fill, so it's going to leak. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong, but I did comment back saying I think the strong magnets will stop it from leaking. Now, what the original comment meant is because the bottom rubber eventually will get thinner and thinner and wear a bit, so it'll become a bit loose. Matt, what I meant in response to that is I don't think it will purely because of how strong it fits on. It, it's got a really strong pull to it. So in my theory, it'll just press into it a bit more, keep it a bit tighter, less likely to leak. But I don't know that for a fact. Uh, you have to use it for quite a few months before you can say for definite whether it will or not. What I can say though is before I started using this, while I was still doing the S review, I left it on the side for two days, full of liquid, and it didn't leak a single drop into the mod compartment. So, what do I say? It weighs a whopping 121 grams. Obviously, that sarcasm, 121 grams, nothing. When you put a battery inside it, it weighs 167, roughly. Yeah. It takes an 18650 battery. Bottom door compartment. Just slide push, the typical type system. Um, now usually these break quite easily because obviously the batteries are pushing up so it naps them up. But I don't think that's such a problem with single bit of batteries just because there's not as much push for the batteries. So I don't think it gives it much friction. Don't know, let me know in the description what you think about that. The power range goes from five all the way up to eight. 3.2 to 4.2 in volts. Alloy leather PCTG, which is basically plastic. Resistance of 0.1 to 3 ohms. And like I've just said, it's got the same connection. The coils go into the pod in any which direction. There's no certain direction, as long as you go the right way up, obviously. And then the same for the pod. You can put it in that way, and it, it just spins. There's no right or way wrong. But, and, and I think that's a good thing, I, I do like that. Pod capacity is 4.5 mil. It comes with the 0.15 home coil. It also comes with the 3 ohm coil. The 0.15, this is testing, is 60 to 80 watts. The 0.3 ohm is 32 to 40 watts. Which quite pisses me off. Why do it 32? Why not just do it from 30 to 40? I suppose it's more accurate. But the PMP coils are quite a growing range. It's got nine coils in that, including a RBA coil. And they've got quite a good rep as well, PMP coils. I generally get roughly about two weeks out of them for decent coils. It's good. The Vinces, Da Vinci's, Da Vinci, Vinci's. The Vinci's also use the PMP coils, if you're wondering. It has got an interchangeable battery. 
but it has also got the USB-C port. That's for updates, but it also takes a two amp charge. That's what we like. It's got the new Gene TT chip. For you that don't know, the Gene Corporation are partnered with Vupu to make exclusive chips, and the Gene TT is in here. It's the Gene TT chip that lets it do the score ranking and all that malarca, which counts the puff size rather than just a puff counter. Pretty impressive stuff. Unlike the S, it doesn't do draw activation, it's button press only. It has though got it has though got smart wattage settings, uh very pool like. It's got the adjustable airflow, which I'm pretty sure we've just looked at. I don't know, this is my second take of doing this video. Um, and then it's got eight protections as well, overtime protection, temperature protection, discharge protection, all of them. But the smart feature does also stop it from going high. So if you put the 0.3 ohm coil in, so it's only supposed to get to 40 watts, it won't let you go to 50 watts to protect you and protect your coil. Happy days, that's what we like. It also has a 0.96 TFT screen. To learn more about what's on the screen, jump on to easy click. But uh, at the bottom you've got your score rating, in the middle you've got your puff counter and your time. Top you've got your battery indicator, setting at that other top, and uh, power in the middle. Pretty standard. Button shortcuts, no menu. Like I said, if you want to learn all that, bounce on to easy click and you will find out. So that's the specs and features. We're going to talk about what's different between this and the S. Then we're going to talk about my opinions. We're going to tell you how much I like it. And all that. Then we'll do the giveaways. Let's go. So the most common question at the minute is what is the exact difference between the X and the S? Well, I'm here to tell you. The X is 95 millimeter tall. The S is 87. So not a lot bigger or smaller, just a little bit. But the X is actually thinner by half a millimeter. The X is 17 millimeter heavier with the battery in. So, so far there's not much difference. It's slightly taller, slightly thinner, slightly heavier. But you've got interchangeable batteries as well. That's a big thing here. I mean, if you said to me, look, <laughs> do you want this or do you want this one? This one's got interchangeable batteries, five pound more. I'd be going, Come on, give me the interchangeable batteries one. Interchangeable batteries is everything for me. So much easier to ca carry a spare battery around than have to wonder about where you're going to get your charge from, whatever. Going camping, take six batteries with you if you want to. I mean, come on. Simple, happy days. The X does not have drawer activation like the S does. But the X goes to 80 watts, the S only goes to 60. That is pretty much the big differences. So you've got draw activation, you've got max power, um, and you've got a little bit of difference in size and weight. That's it. So it, it depends. When, when you're looking at buying this, you're not looking at size or anything or weight because it's such a small difference. The only thing you're looking at is your interchangeable batteries and your power, which quite often come separate, uh, together anyway. You don't, it's not often that the interchangeable batteries version has a lower wattage. So it's pretty much any standard mod. So what's your opinions are? Well, I'll tell you something. I've been using this 1.0.1 ohm coil. And it's absolutely cracking. 80 watts, are we ready? No, I mean, that's, that's not right, cloud. Might not agree. Don't care if they agree. For 80 watts, we can't complain. Try again. You know what I mean? Come on. Look at it. It's, it's smaller than my hand. I mean, let's put it down to par here. You know what I mean? It's only just longer than my finger. And it's kicking out clouds like that. You can't complain, you guys. I, 
anyone that's been on my channel for a while will know if it's crap, I'm going to tell you it's crap. If it's a feature I don't like, I'm going to tell you if it's a feature I don't like. Another common question for the S was, does it have TC, temperature control? No, it does not, I'm afraid. There's, there's something that I keep pushing here. And I've said it many times on my channel, pod mods piss me off. Blank out, straight, true. There were pods and mods, and someone went, well, make a pod mod. What's a pod mod? It's a pod that goes onto a mod. So it's a mod that... Instead of screwing a tank on, it just magnetizes on or clips on. Yeah. In my eyes, it's just a new name for a, a, a connect, different type of connection. It doesn't make any difference. You have an 80 watt mod, a very basic 80 watt mod with a very basic tank. You can't complain, guys. I like it. I love it. I bloody well love it. It's marvelous. I will say though, the Retro S looked a lot better than the Galaxy Blue X. Gotta be said. Anyhow, that's it. That's all we gotta say. I'm sorry if I miss things out, guys. I am really tired. I am really hot. And I didn't really want to make a video that just said exact same as the S review did. Um, so there you go. If you've got any questions, bang it in the comments down below. Thank you all for your support. I've been many subscribers lately. Um, now we're going to do the giveaway. What you got to remember about a giveaway is you have a choice. You can either have the Vupu Drag S mod brand new, uh, meaning I buy one and send it here, or as usual, you can just what we normally do and have the version I've used. I don't mind which because if I'll be having one regardless, so you can decide which one you have. So, there's a bloke on here, right? <clears throat> well, there's a bloke on here and he's been commenting, asking about the other pod mods on the market, deciding which one to buy. Well, Daz, just to prove it's not a marketing game's pain, um, you're not going to be able to try it. I haven't chose, I just, to verify the word choose, I didn't choose you, commentpicker.com did. There you go, it's uh, Daz Wright, yeah, yeah, good lad. Congratulations, Daz Wright. Daz uh, won myself a Vupu um, Drag S. For your chance of winning this giveaway, the Vupu Drag X, this one, uh, all you have to do is comment down below and make sure you're subscribed. Read the terms and conditions because there'll be things in there like you have to pay postage. Um, so you should always read the terms and conditions. Read them, subscribe, comment. Simple. If you don't, if you want to comment but you don't want to be entered, just say you don't want to be entered. Nice and simple. And if you win, I'll redraw it automatically. Um, congratulations, Daz. For the X, this is what you're winning. You're not winning a new one. So don't get your hopes up. Sorry, I'm not rich. <clears throat> Feel free to say what you did like and didn't like about the device and the review in the comments down below. Feel free to share it. Please do share it. It'd be very nice. Thumbs up. Subscribe. What to say? Cheers, guys. Till next week. Stay cloudy. <clears throat> Feel free to comment down below. Feel free to comment right down below about what you liked in this video, what about you didn't you like in this video. And don't forget to put thumbs up, don't put thumbs down, we don't like thumbs down. No, I don't care if you didn't like it, put a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe though, please. Then you can keep giving me thumbs down, that'd be great. Um, so until next week guys, all you need to do is stay safe in this coronavirus world and stay cloudy.